Your soul needs this daily divine drink, energy source of joy, part 1. In the book of Habakkuk, we find a powerful message of faith and unwavering trust in God, even in the midst of challenging circumstances. The passage in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 19 portrays a scenario where everything seems to be going wrong. The fig tree does not blossom, the vines bear no fruit, the olive harvest fails, and the fields yield no produce. The flocks are cut off, and there are no herds in the stalls. It's a picture of despair, scarcity, and loss. However, amidst these dire circumstances, the prophet Habakkuk makes a profound declaration of faith and joy in the Lord. The paradox of joy. Verse 18 holds a paradoxical truth that resonates with believers throughout the ages. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. Despite the lack, the prophet chooses to find his joy in God alone. This passage teaches us that true joy transcends our external circumstances. It is not dependent on our material possessions, success, or comfort. Instead, it is rooted in our relationship with the Creator. The source of strength. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. This verse emphasizes the inseparable connection between joy and strength. When we experience joy, it invigorates us, enabling us to tackle life's challenges with renewed vigor and determination. Just as physical strength allows us to perform physical tasks, spiritual strength empowers us to overcome obstacles and fulfill our purpose. The energy drink of heaven. Comparing joy to an energy drink, we realize that it comes in various concentrations. Regular joy, the one we should seek daily, sustains us through the day. Just as Psalm chapter 30 verse 5 states, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. For those battling depression or sadness, the infusion of joy can provide the strength needed to face each new day. By filling our hearts with joy, the Lord fortifies us mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Receiving joy through good news. Psalm chapter 51 verse 8 highlights the power of good news to uplift our spirits and bring joy. When we hear good news, it can awaken dormant strength within us. Imagine a weary traveler returning from a long and arduous journey. His body aches, his mind is fatigued, and he can barely summon the energy to take another step. He arrives home, hoping for a moment of respite, only to find himself confronted with the prospect of cooking dinner. Exhaustion washes over him, and he contemplates retreating to his bed without nourishment. However, in the midst of his weariness, he hears a knock on the door. His heart stirs with curiosity as he opens it to find his beloved fiancé standing before him, a radiant smile adorning her face. Suddenly, the weariness that once burdened him dissipates as a surge of joy rushes through his veins. The weight of exhaustion is replaced by the anticipation of spending time with his loved one. In that moment, the tired traveler is infused with newfound energy. His weariness is transformed into vitality, and he feels a renewed sense of purpose and strength. The good news of his fiancé's presence has kindled a fire within him, igniting his spirit and awakening his dormant energy reserves. What was once a weary body is now filled with life and enthusiasm. Similarly, in our spiritual journey, we often find ourselves fatigued and worn out by the challenges and demands of life. We may face struggles, disappointments, and hardships that drain us of our joy and energy. However, just as the tired brother experienced a surge of vitality upon hearing the good news of his fiancé's arrival, we too can find rejuvenation through the good news found in God's Word. When we immerse ourselves in Scripture, we encounter the promises, assurances, and truths that bring gladness to our hearts. The Bible is filled with the good news of God's love, grace, forgiveness, and faithfulness. It reminds us of His presence in our lives and His plans for our future. As we meditate on these truths, our weariness gives way to a sense of hope, peace, and joy that surpasses understanding. The good news of God's Word rejuvenates our souls, breathing life into our weary spirits. It reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles, for we have a loving Heavenly Father who walks beside us, offering comfort, strength, and guidance. The promises found in Scripture assure us that God is working all things together for our good and that He has a purpose and a plan for our lives. Just as the tired traveler found new energy and motivation to cook for his beloved fiancé, we, too, are invigorated to live out our faith and serve God with renewed enthusiasm.
The good news of God's word empowers us to persevere, to overcome obstacles, and to embrace each day with a sense of purpose and joy. Therefore, as believers, let us make it a habit to seek the good news found in God's word every morning. Before we are bombarded with the noise of the world and the challenges that await us, let us open our hearts and minds to the truths that bring us joy. By starting our day in communion with God, we allow His good news to permeate our beings, equipping us with the strength and vitality we need to face whatever lies ahead. The Word of God is a source of joy. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 beautifully illustrates the transformative nature of God's Word. The prophet declares, Your words were found, and I ate them, and your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. The scriptures are not merely a collection of texts. They are a source of divine revelation and a wellspring of joy. Engaging with the word of God daily allows us to internalize its truths, which in turn brings joy, encouragement, and strength to our hearts. Prioritizing God's word. In a world filled with news outlets and social media platforms that often inundate us with negative reports, it is essential to prioritize God's word. Instead of starting our day with a barrage of distressing information, we should begin by immersing ourselves in the good news found in scripture. By doing so, we equip ourselves with the strength and resilience needed to navigate the challenges of each day. Habakkuk's unwavering trust and joy in the face of adversity inspire us to seek joy in God, regardless of our circumstances. The power of joy lies not in the external world but within our hearts. As we draw closer to God, His joy becomes our strength, empowering us to face challenges with unwavering faith and determination. By prioritizing the reading and meditation of God's Word, we invite His joy into our lives, energizing us to fulfill our purpose and walk confidently in His presence. Hit notification, subscribe, like and share for God's Word to grow and prevail Acts chapter 10 verse 20. May we always find our strength and joy in the Lord walking along the paths he has prepared for us with the divine energy drink. God bless you.